Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you how I do my drugstore smokey eye. Yes, a lot of you have been requesting me to do drugstore looks, and so I'm giving in. I'm doing some more drugstore looks, and I thought this is a really fun look to do for you guys because I've been doing a lot of neutral, um, not of neutral everyday looks, so I wanted to give you guys a night out smoky look. And it's not with the typical blacks and browns, it's more with like blues. So I hope you guys enjoy this a lot. I thought it was really pretty to do and it's really easy and fun. So hope you guys enjoy watching this and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is prime our eyes. And I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion as always. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, run this all over our lid, all the way up to the brow bone. Cause we're gonna be applying shadow everywhere in this look. And then we're going to apply this in the inner corner and right underneath. Make sure if you need to get a little bit more, that's, that's perfect. You can just drag it underneath and carry the excess in the outer corner. Okay, so once our eyes are all primed, we're going to take kind of a jumbo eye pencil. Now, I don't have a NYX one. Um, I'm just using the Sephora brand. Um, I know it's not completely drugstore, but it kind of is. It's, it was like $6, so not bad at all. And it's this purple color with blue undertone, uh, blue undertones, blue undertones. It's gorgeous. At Target, I know they make these. Go check these out if you don't have a NYX jumbo eye pencil or anything. I'm just using a purple color. If you want gray, would look perfect with this, or brown, or even a navy color. We're gonna stay away from white though because um, white's gonna make this look intensified and more of a bright look. And we're kind of looking for that sultry night look. We're gonna apply this all the way up to the crease. It doesn't have to apply very smoothly. This isn't going to be very opaque or anything. But it's just going to give us a nice base for our eyeshadows to stick to. And underneath our lash line. Imagine the waterline continues this line all the way up to our brows. And we're going to take our pencil a little ways, just like that. If you guys can see. And we're going to just... Bring that along and connect to our crease area. Okay, once that's done, we're just going to blend that a little bit so it's not so harsh. Woo, sorry. Okay, so now you got this gorgeous kind of purple base. Okay, so now for the fun part, we're going to take our All Night Intense Eye Color um, trio for hazels number 23 and this is what it looks like you don't have to have hazel eyes for this it's this gorgeous trio of this kind of browny silver color this kind of purpley navy almost navy color and then this light silvery color and we're gonna take our just a flat shader brush like this and we're gonna take this first color right here this kind of browny silver color we're gonna get that all on a brush tap off the excess and put that all over our lid. Kind of focusing it on the center and working our way inwards. It's gonna look really pretty with that purple underneath it. Next, we're going to take a, it's kind of shadow on it, sorry, just a pencil brush. So I'm using a MAC one, but you can use any kind of pencil brush that you have. And we're gonna take this lightest color right here Get that on the brush, tap off the excess, and we're going to be applying this into our inner tear duct area. So we're just going to take that in. You can kind of connect it with that brown silvery shadow. Take this underneath about a third of the way. Next we're going to take a crease brush. I'm using my MAC 217. Sorry it has a shadow on it already, but we're going to take this middle color, this gorgeous like blue purple color. Just kind of pack that on our brush, and we're going to work that on that purple outer corner that we made earlier. And we're just going to pack that on this outer V area. Sorry, you can't see that. Just kind of use soft padding motions, just like this. And we're going to bring this into the crease. So you can use kind of soft strokes just like this. Bring it all the way in and back up. Pack this in that inner part as well. Not quite in the tear ducts, but right where that silver met the brown shadow, the brown silvery color. 
it's going to add more depth this way. A little bit more, we're going to actually bring this inwards a little bit from the outer corner. And then if needed, you can go back with that um, brown, silvery color. It's kind of actually kind of purpley as well. You're going to put that back in that middle corner just so it kind of gives it a little pop. So it didn't go completely away when we added that blue. Then we're going to take our pencil brush and take that same color, tap off, and apply this all the way under our lash line. Connect it with that light color. And then we're going to actually take this dark color again and connect it with the outer third, with that V up there. Okay, once we got that done, we are going to smoke it out now because this is not a smoky look. It's just kind of harsh and kind of messy look. You're really gonna wanna make sure that you blend this out because otherwise it's not a smoky look. It's just kind of a harsh, messy look. So we're gonna take just a tapered blending brush. This is the MAC 224. Any blending brush will work if you, I know Sonia Kashuk has one and other brands at the drugstore. So you can find whatever you have and we're just gonna blend out that harsh line. You can use kind of circular motions, you can use short strokes, anything like that. Just achieve that smoky effect. Bring it down underneath as well. So you can smoke out that bottom part. But don't blend too much under here because you don't want to make it look like you have a black eye or anything. But um just a little bit is perfect. So once we are done with that, we are going to highlight. I'm just gonna take my MAC 227 brush, just any kind of large eyeshadow brush. It's kind of like a short, stubby one. And we're going to take a highlight color. And I'm using another All My Intense Eye Color Shadow Trio for greens. And this one is number 24 like this and you can recreate this look if you don't want this dark smoky eye you can kind of do it with light colors as well so you can recreate it with any colors if you kind of want a neutral smoky eye that you can totally use it with this palette as well take this light color right here and highlight beneath my brows we don't want a shimmery color the reason why I'm not using the um, this light silver color up here is because it adds too much shimmer and we just kind of want a matte color. We're not going to overdo it with some shimmer, so we're just going to um, put like a matte color underneath there. So that's perfect. Okay, I didn't realize this until now, but I'm kind of using a lot of all my colors and they all happen to be that um, intense eye color. I don't really know why, but um, this is also an all my intense eye color crayon in 03 Black Pearl. So we're going to take this, just a retractable, and we're going to line our waterline. So we just kind of pull down this flap of skin. And I'm going to take its matching liquid eyeliner. It's the same color and stuff. All May again. Yes, I'm sorry. Um, I, just got, I just really like All May brand. And we're going to take this. It's kind of a liquid eyeliner with this spongy tip like that. And we're going to line our top lash line right here. Start from the middle and just make short strokes. And I'm not making it a wing, but if you want a wing, you can totally do that. I'm just gonna wait for that to dry. If you want to set it so it doesn't run, you can use an angled brush like this. Just taking any matte black eyeshadow and you can just pat that right on top of the eyeliner. And that's just gonna help set it so it doesn't move during the day. And it actually makes it look a little more smoky when you put this on top. Last step is we're gonna curl our eyelashes. And then we're going to take CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume, and this is the waterproof kind. This is a perfect eyeliner, not perfect eyeliner, this is the perfect mascara to use um, with smoky eyes and night out because it kind of gives um, that false lash effect. It's very voluminous and makes your lashes look just really, really dark. And then we're going to do our bottom lashes. Okay, so this is the finished look, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I thought it was really fun to do. It's a gorgeous smoky eye look. And I wear this out all the time, so I really wanted to share with you guys what I do. And I really like this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.